Okay, hello. Today's Wednesday, June 8th, 2022. Another day, another dollar. Just kidding. <clears throat> Anyways, I got too hot to wear the shirt, so I'd take it off. Um, <clears throat> you know, if some if people are good, like good angels, then there's probably people that are like bad angels. Anyway. <clears throat> I was thinking about that. Um, so like, it's all because of how you are inside, I guess, your spirit. Um, you've been, your eyes, the window to your soul, and you've been changed, I guess, by God, and um, turned around in your mind, your spirit. Um, to realize that we're in this creation created by God. And every day, waking up to a new day, new threats from other, supposedly threats from other countries, and whether they're real or not, I don't know. Um, but it seems real because, but, you know, I wonder, because, you can have dreams about the future, I think. Sometimes people say they think they had dreams about things like a rapture and other things. Like, <clears throat> like if you leave your body, you, you, I guess you leave the heaviness behind it and become light like a cloud, like, um, like helium in a balloon, possibly. Um, it's like, I always wondered how, like, you can't, you can't breathe in outer space with this body. I don't know if you go, because if you go in outer space with a body, you have to have something in like a spaceship around you with air in it so you can breathe. But if you if you leave your body, then you don't have a body to worry about breathing in outer space. You just float. I just wonder how far up the balloons go. I don't even know if they go that far. I think they just come back down to Earth. I don't know if they keep on going. I think they need air. They need the oxygen to float around in then they eventually land somewhere in the earth again i don't know if there's a force field out there and like if it's you can get through it or if it's like like a force field thing over the earth so i've never been there so i don't know um i don't know if the firmament is just that place where the air stops and the blackness of space starts I don't know it's like because when you get up further there's no more sky like blue sky and you supposedly get into this blackness of space where you can look down at the sky which was above you which becomes below you like they show us they show how Supposed astronauts are in outer space looking down on the earth. The bubble of the air around the land, which looks blue, they say because of the molecules of the types of whatever the, with the sun shining to it makes it look blue. Those things. Um, I don't know if we're supposed to leave pretty soon. I don't know when. People are trying to figure out when. I don't know if we're supposed to, We have to leave to be safe. Like when angels said Lot go out of the city. Before like fire and brimstone rained down on the city. And destroyed all those people after they blinded them. Their eyes I mean. So the fire and brimstone to me would be like. <clears throat> Whether it's a natural thing or if it came down from like a weapon or something to destroy things. Because um, it would do the same thing, kind of fire and brimstone from things like the mushroom cloud things. Which I don't even like talking about because I don't, I don't like it. So destructive and, and so many years afterwards with radiation and everything. Yeah. I like talking about good things, happy things, like good food and um, 
nice people, spending time doing nice things with people. Oh, we should talk about helping each other out. Um, not wanting to make people suffer and everything. We should talk about helping others. I wish there wouldn't be a food crisis or an energy crisis. I wish that everything would be good and everybody would have what they need. I wish there was no homeless people. And they would have a place to go and animals would feel safe too. Like, cause I like helping animals when I feel like I can. Some, I have to be careful cause some animals are more dangerous than others so it'd be hard to help the ones that are more dangerous unless you knew what to do and you were brave enough. <clears throat> So today is a new day. Today is the 8th of June. Um, some people bring show uh, forth all the negative news. Like when I did a pretend news channel on my YouTube channel, I just thought of good things to talk about on my news. <clears throat> I brought up, you know, things that are good and possible and how good the weather was, whether the weather was rainy, which is still good, even when it rains, it helps the earth, helps the trees and the plants, they need water. Like when I play my game, and I'm, a, I'm thankful when it rains because I know I don't have to water, water every single plant on the game. It helps water all the plants at the same time and I don't have to worry about it. And I'm thankful for that. Um, but sometimes it just rains on the game, and then sometimes it'll thunder and lightning on the, with the rain. And it can make you a little bit more fearful because it's a noise and the light flashes and all that. Even though it's just a game, but it's almost like real. So I take my character, and sometimes I try and go into the house with my character and wait till it's over or. I might do a few things on the game while it's, you know, raining and thundering and lightning. Most times I try not to. I wait till it's over. Or sometimes it'll stop while I'm playing. Anyways, and also on the game there's this garden I made with flowers and everything. And when they're next to each other, sometimes I start it out smaller. And they just, they just start multiplying the flowers on their, their own. When you plant them so, somewhat close to each other, they start becoming, you know, filling up the grass areas and, you know, going out and almost a circular form, but not exactly straight like I started it with edge, straight edges. It's kind of interesting to watch how it naturally grows and spreads out. I guess that's how nature works. Um, but it's like becoming like the field, a field of flowers, like. Um, I have to, might have to take a few out sometimes because they're getting too many or they might spread out too, too much. It might cause too many bees or bugs or something like that, a problem in the game. So I might end up having to sell some of the flowers to control it, I guess. It, I'm pretty sure it can only go as far as where the sidewalk is and um, anywhere to, where there's grass I guess it could spread to. I don't know what's going to happen with it. I just let it do a thing and I go play the game. It's kind of interesting that little world. I don't want to be stuck in it. I just go play it sometimes. Um, the characters die off pretty quickly. A week, ten days maybe, a week and a half. Um, well, they don't die off. They go to retire some place on an island. And the one that they chose underneath them takes over, which is a younger type. Growing up from a 4-year-old to a 20, 30-something-year-old. Once they get that age, then they take over and become the mayor of the town. Um, that's how it works. And then the next day, after they become mayor, the, um, the adoption lady comes and you get to choose a new child to be underneath you to learn from you. 
to become the mayor after you. It's kind of interesting how they do that. Um, so how's everybody doing today? Hope you're having a wonderful day today. I'm having a pretty good day. I had my coffee this morning. I'm just drinking water right now because it's gotten kind of warm. It always gets warm in the afternoon. So I was kind of warm in my shirt here. This extra one, so I take it off and put it. I folded it up. Um, I was going to talk about. Mm, oh, I was going to talk about. Like, I made diaries writing on paper before, like in the 9, 88, 90, 89, 90, around there, 1990. Um, um, this paper is so old that, like, I don't know if I wrote on pen or pencil, but when I, I, I look, I try it once in a while, I look at it, I can't see the words anymore. They've just kind of slowly gone away, and I wish I would have preserved it better because um, I can't even read most some of it so and when paper gets that old it gets kind of crazy you don't want to touch it it feels it's too old to touch um it can affect your skin i, I guess see why those really old documents they have to be careful that they can just fall apart so i don't even know i wish i do wish i knew better I wish I knew to put it in something that stays better, that isn't ex as exposed to the air. I think there's only a few words in that thing I can read now, since it's been 30 plus years, 30 to 35 years since I wrote it. The other ones are like in these um, notebook things that have a hard cover, where the paper's inside the hard cover, so I think those might preserve a little longer. I, I don't know if I should do something about those, but maybe, maybe if in the past I, I might have written in pencil and that wasn't a good idea because pencil doesn't last as long as ink. So I guess you live and learn about things in life, which you, you learn. I know that like airtight things keep things better longer. Yeah. Because this one butterfly, I, I was trying to take care of it, died, and I, I preserved it in a, a container. It's just like a empty, cleaned-out container. It's a jar. It's a glass jar. And I put it in there, and it's been good. I, never, I don't usually open it. I keep it closed all the time. It hasn't disintegrated or anything. It's still there. I don't think you can do that with bigger bodies, so Like animals. I don't know if you can just... Take them in. There's no big air jars like that, as far as I know. I wouldn't want to look gross, anyways. I wouldn't like that. Like cats or dogs, I wouldn't want to keep them in a jar like that. I don't know. You know, Snow White, when she died, they put her in a glass thing pre to preserve her, I guess. And then she woke up when she got a kiss from the prince. The prince, like the prince in heaven, Prince Jesus. Is he going to come give us a kiss or something and wake us up from this slumber and take us to heaven to be with him forever? I don't know. <laughs> He's the Prince of Peace. He's going to bring peace to the earth. Isn't he wonderful? Well, I don't know if you guys know him, but I think Jesus is so wonderful. He's so beautiful. The Prince of Peace. God of heaven, well, maybe God the Father, and I don't know if the Son had anything to do with creation also, he might have um, been part of the think tank of the creation of the world, I'm not sure, like how when people make games, and more than one person might make a game, because they might all, all put their own input onto what, how they want the game to be, maybe it's something like that, I'm not sure. Um, I really enjoy, um, I, I like seeing people having a nice time with themselves and doing things. I wish that sometimes you, you feel left out because 
he sees I'm doing it, but you're not doing it. You're just sitting here watching them. But they're the ones doing it. Like, I don't know how some of the people here on YouTube get so much money to go traveling and um, going on vacation, seems like, all the time and getting new equipment all the time. Because YouTube doesn't always pay everybody the same. YouTube doesn't pay people that much sometimes. You get hardly anything from YouTube, but then other people seem to get more than others. Seem like they have more money than other people do. And, um, I just wonder how they get all that money. I don't know if they take out loans and they have to pay those back. That's how they get all that possessions and do all those things that most people can't do. Anyways, I um, like nature and things like that. Water, streams, good weather. That cool store, like the two Albertsons. I didn't know there was a two floor Albertsons, the biggest one. I didn't know that because it was the only one in the whole country, maybe that's that big. Um, very interesting. Um, so, some people talk about things in this world. <clears throat> some people bring up things from other worlds, talk about other things. <clears throat> I just, I don't know. There's other things, other worlds, or just this world. I don't know. The Bible talks about things in this world, here, in the earth. And the heavens, I don't know. I guess you learn about that later if you go there. If you don't, I don't know. You don't learn anything about it. Or you have to know. know. And maybe God teaches us things later. I wonder if, if we're born again. We come, I mean, if we're not just born again, like in, when you pray, but I mean, you're like, if some people are reincarnated, if they somehow God causes you to forget everything before you're born again, before you're reborn into a new body, do you like forget God? Somehow your your mind is forgetful of all the past you've lived. I, I told my son that maybe when people, when you die or when you're born, it it's so traumatic that maybe that's why you forget things because it's not easy. There's hardship involved in being born and um, dying, I guess, with your body. I don't like seeing my pets die. It's sad. I, I hate it. I wish death to go away forever. <laughs> oh. Wouldn't that be nice? No more dying. Even animals. I guess maybe they shouldn't have babies since they wouldn't be too populated. But then people would say, oh, they miss having babies around the little kids. But I don't know. Will there be no more pop more babies being born or will it just restart and will new, new babies be born again? Like animals or people? I'm not sure. That's how it happened after the ark. Noah's ark, I mean. It started having babies again. Animals and people. What do you guys think? How will it be? I hope it'll be a wonderful, beautiful place. I wonder if heaven will just come down to earth and it'll all be beautiful. Just beautiful. Everywhere. Like a beautiful island. No dangerous volcanoes. Everything will be perfect. Water will be pure and clean. Food. Just pick out the trees. You don't have to have money. You don't have to have a job. You can do what you want. You can create things. Show pe talk to people, anyone. They'll all be friendly. Nobody will want to hurt you. And all God's holy mountain. And 
the island. The plants all be beautiful. Our bodies, if we have body, new bodies, will be perfect. There won't be any flaw. No more sickness or disease. Hmm. Those are all things from come from sinful. They're like part of the curse, I guess, because of a curse that came on man in the past um, for disobeying. <clears throat> Have a beautiful, wonderful day. Okay, bye.